there's no question that the presence of nuclear weapons makes it much less likely, I'm choosing my words carefully here, much less likely that a great power would aggress against another great power. It doesn't take that possibility off the table, but it makes it much less likely because of the reasons that you articulated. Uh, but with regard to nuclear use, it's an interesting question how you think about nuclear use in a mad world. I mean, your point that we're in a mad world is, <laughs> that, that's mad, capital M-A-D, as well as yes. M-A-D, yes, small both. letters. But let's stick to the capital letters. Yeah. We're in a world of mutual assured destruction. Uh, there's no question that in that world, uh, uh, it, it's uh, unlikely that nuclear weapons would be used. But the way you use nuclear weapons in that world is you use them uh, for manipulation of risk purposes, mm -hmm. demonstration effect. You, you, you put both sides out on the slippery slope. Now, what exactly am I saying here? Let me talk about NATO doctrine during the Cold War. Mm -hmm. We lived in a mad world, United States and Soviet Union, or the Warsaw Pact and NATO, both had an assured destruction capability, so you had mutual assured destruction. If the Warsaw Pact were to invade Western Europe, and here we're talking about West Germany, uh, and NATO was losing the war, we said that we would use nuclear weapons. How would we use nuclear weapons given that we were in a mad world? The argument was that we would use a handful of nuclear weapons against the Warsaw Pact, not, to, not necessarily against their military forces, could be in a remote area. We would use a small number of nuclear weapons mm -hmm. to signal to the Soviets that we were deadly serious about putting an end to their offensive, uh, and that we were throwing both sides out on the slippery slope to oblivion. Mm -hmm. In other words, we were manipulating risk. And the last clear chance to avoid Armageddon rested with them. Mm -hmm. And then we would tell them that if you retaliated with a handful of nuclear weapons and you didn't cease your offensive against West Germany, we would launch a small, another nuclear attack. We would uh, explode a handful more of nuclear weapons, all for the purposes of showing you our resolve, right? So this is the manipulation of risk strategy, and a lot of the language I just used in describing it to you is language that Thomas Schelling invented, mm -hmm. right? Now, fast forward to the present. If Russia were you losing in Ukraine, that's the one scenario where I think where Russia would have used nuclear weapons. And the question is, how would Russia have used nuclear weapons? Again, we're assuming that the Russians are losing to the Ukrainians. I believe they would have pursued a manipulation of risk strategy. Mm -hmm. They would have used four or five, three or four, who knows, nuclear weapons. Maybe and just one in a, r a rural area that kills very few people. Yes, exactly. And basically, that would spook everybody. The Americans Just the would, mushroom cloud. Yeah. The, it, it's because of the threat of escalation, yeah. right? A, again, you, your point is we're in a mad world. I accept that. Mm -hmm. And if you have limited nuclear use, right, we understand hardly anything about nuclear escalation mm -hmm. because thank goodness we've never had a nuclear war. So once you throw both sides out on the slippery slope, even if you only use one nuclear weapon in your scenario, you don't know what the escalation dynamics look like. So everybody has a powerful incentive to put an end to the conflict right away. Mm -hmm. I might add to you that there were people who believed that we would not even initiate a manipulation of risk strategy in Europe if we were losing to the Warsaw Pact during the Cold War. Both Henry Kissinger and Robert McNamara said after leaving office that they would not have done it. They would have not initiated nuclear use, even limited nuclear use. That's what we're talking about here. They would rather be red than dead, right? That was the argument. Too risky. Too risky, yeah. that's exactly right. 
But if they had used one nuclear weapon in your story or three or four in my story, everybody would have said, oh my God, we've got to shut this one down immediately. I only tell you this story or lay out this scenario because as an answer to your question of how you use nuclear weapons in a mad world. And this is the answer. 